Hey scholars, it's Miss Martin. So we're going to keep working on percents. Um, so today we're going to be mostly writing fractions and real world problems as percents. So for our DIN, we have our review question. During Friday Kahoot, Emma got six sevenths of the question correct questions correct. If she got 24 questions correct, how many total questions were there? So this is going back to a review of what we did on Tuesday. So pause the video, see if you can draw a tape diagram and figure out the total. OK, so let's draw a tape diagram. So I'm going to start by drawing out my rectangle. And I don't know the total, but I do know Emma got six sevenths correct. So I need to break this into seven pieces. One. OK, so there are my seven equal pieces. I know that Emma got six of those correct. So let's mark one, two, three, four, five, six that Emma got correct. And that total amount was 24. So what Emma got was 24. So we can split this 24 into these six boxes. So 24 divided by six, it's gonna be four in each box. So that means there were four questions that Emma missed. In total, there were 28 questions. So for our preview, Mason earned 17 out of 20 points on a recent math quiz. What fraction of the total points did Mason earn? So we need to write this as a percent and a fraction. So for our preview, it is once the fraction 17 out of 20. That's how we would write it as a fraction. So this preview leads directly into our first exercise. Determine what percent grade Mason earned on his quiz. So we know he got 17 out of 20, but we all know we like to know our grades out of 100. So we can convert this fraction to a decimal or percent. So if we're using the Desmos calculator, we need to convert it first to a decimal. If you are using the calculator in class, you can go right from the fraction to the percent by typing in this fraction, hitting the second button, then the percent key and enter. And that's all in the calculator guide that you guys can look at if you need help. So I'm going to get this as a decimal. So 17. Oh, ooh, I'm typing this in wrong, so we need to hit the fraction button first. 17 over 20 as a decimal that is 0 0.85. So these are the same number, but I want it as a percent. We talked about how we can just move this over. So when you're going from decimal to percent, you move the decimal two over to the right. This is going to be an 85 percent. And if we think about that, that's a pretty high percentage grade and 17 out of 20 is pretty high, so that number should make sense to us. So let's look at exercise two. Of the 35 students in PE class, only 14 brought clothes to change into. What percentage of students brought clothes to change into? So we had 14 out of 35 total. So you can go right from this fraction to a percent on those yellow TI-34 calculators. I need to go first to a decimal on my Desmos. So 14 over 35. And we get 0 0.4. So if I have 0 0.4 and I want to convert this decimal to a percent, I need to move this over two times. So this is going to fill in with the zero. So that is going to be 40%. If three fifths of a seventh grade class has missed at least one day of school, what percentage missed at least one day of school? So they told us it's three fifths. We need to first write this as a decimal and then as a percent, or you can go right on your TI-34 and convert it. So we had three fifths. Three over five is the same as 0 0.6. So if I write this as 0 0.6, I want to move this decimal over twice 
to convert it from a decimal to a percent, we will get 60%. So those are our notes. So all we did was pretty much just conversions, but we needed to do them. We needed to know context. So like Mason got 85% on his quiz. 40% of students in PE brought close to change into 60% of seventh graders missed at least one day of school. So you have a practice problem. We're going to do the same thing. We're talking about students at Lincoln Middle School. And then we're going to practice our conversions again because we need to know that all of these numbers, all three of these that I wrote here, 3 fifths, 0 0.6 and 60%, those are all equivalent. They're just different ways of writing the same number. 17 out of 20 is the same as 0 0.85 is the same as 85%. So practicing writing those equivalent decimals, fractions and percents. Then you have an exit ticket which is talking about laptops connecting to the Wi-Fi. So what percentage did connect to the Wi-Fi? What percentage did not connect to the Wi-Fi? When you're done, make sure you're going into Canvas and completing independent practice 18. So going into Canvas, taking this independent practice quiz and making sure you're clicking mark as done for this assignment. 